because you hurt their feelings. So I get up here as a joke, no harm intended, it's a funny time. And I get up here and I'm like, don't wear a garter, it's trashy. And I get that same blogger in the back of the room like, female comic shamed my wedding day choices and I don't have the social wherewithal to confront her in person so I'm just gonna hurl these insult turds from behind a faceless avatar. <laughs> So, since we're all so hurt and gutless all the time, I'm gonna stick to my initial notion. You look like a saloon hooker. Okay? Go get married at a Six Flags. So you look down, you finally get it up there. You're like, it looks like I put a mini tennis skirt on a Christmas ham. And it's tight. Of course it's tight. It's a garter. It's meant to hold up clothing. And right now, all it's holding up is that blood flow. <laughs> blood like trying to get to the artery. You're like, uh-uh. <laughs> Your skin is just <laughs> <laughs> moon pieing out on either side. <laughs> You're staring down at your corpulent leg as it pulsates <laughs> with stagnant blood turning a light shade of blue. You're like, I'm the night queen. I don't know <laughs> what is this? You don't have time to ponder the deadening of your leg. You don't have time because you got to get yourself over the dance floor, sweet tits. That's right. You got to get yourself over to the dance floor where you and your new husband are going to perform a weird sexual garter removal dance. I'll be there for the conception. <laughs> this is excellent. Your father is there, and he loves you girls, but he has tapped out. He's like, yeah, fuck her. I don't know. <laughs> well, he's a good guy, and this is a good shrimp. It's good shrimp. It's a cash bar, but they're trying. So you got to get over there for that dance. So you go to the dance floor, you drag your now purple <laughs> stump over to a single chair. A single chair that has been ominously placed in the center of the dance floor. You are meant to sit in this chair, my child. <laughs> And you're like, sit, okay. I wasn't planning on enjoying myself, but okay. <laughs> sit in the chair. Well, that's easier said than done, isn't it? Because you're a bride like me. You're a bride that chose a dress that was, that was form over function. <laughs> Your dress is tight. You're a bride like me that perhaps chose a dress that was a size, maybe half a size too small, right? Because you told yourself you were going to lose the weight for the wedding, but you didn't lose the weight, did you? <laughs> no, in fact, you gained two pounds just trying. <laughs> yeah. So that dress is tight, and you are trying to make yourself thin and compact in the moment, right? You got all your carry-on luggage up here. <laughs> trying to extend the torso, tucking the tailbone, protecting the spine, moving with breath <laughs> all the way down. Slowly, slowly, you're like that goat in the cage in that first Jurassic Park. Like <laughs> <laughs> How does she work that noise into every special? Slowly lowering yourself down, praying to God that you don't experience the one female-specific sartorial mishap there's no coming back from. When you're a woman, there's a lot that can go wrong, okay? You snap a heel, you have an accident on your your bra strap, whatever, but none is more embarrassing than the horror of going to sit down and having the back of your dress burst open. Goose. <laughs> because it couldn't contain your lady meat. <laughs> you won't like me when I'm married. <laughs> I don't think the Hulk threw a shit, but. <laughs> this Hulk does. <laughs>
So you finally sit down, right? You go down to the hem of your skirt, it's time to show off that $2.45 investment, right? You gotta show off that garner. <laughs> you go to lift up the hem and that's when you realize you only put on fake tanner to the knee. <laughs> Don't be brave. Blinded. No. So you put your little white orange dreamsicle leg out there, <laughs> right? And you sit there and you wait, and I believe what is to come next is ostensibly your first real test as a married couple. But of course the onus is on the woman to pass this test because it's on you girls to sit there and remain facially excited <laughs> and turned on at your new choice in mate as your new husband emerges from the smoke of the DJ lights. <laughs> jacket is off so you as the bride are treated to this sweat map of South America <laughs> and you have to sit there ladylike but also like excited but also demure but also horny and sit there <laughs> while your new husband goes under your dress this is the most expensive dress you're probably ever gonna wear and he's rooting around under it <laughs> like a ghost schnauzer He now must remove the garter, but according to weird wedding tradition, he's not allowed to use his hands. What must he use, Nashville? <laughs> so he gets under there, slides his five o'clock shadow <laughs> up your five o'clock shadow. <laughs> A viscous exchange of Dracar Noir with Bath and Body Works Plumeria. <laughs> Gets up here around this side hustle. <laughs> Clamps down on that garter with, let's hope, wolf-like precision. <laughs> Slides it down your sweaty fucking ham hock. to the ground, and then he eats it. I don't know what happens. <laughs> I've never watched the full YouTube video. Okay. There is a world where you can admit that something is difficult, but also love the byproduct of it. I love my husband, but the wedding part is exhausting. It is a physical and mental and financial just gauntlet. Even down to the last minute, the wedding itself, the whole year is exhausting planning, and it's fun, you love your mom, but it's a whole thing. <laughs> But even just the day of, let's talk about the day of. What happened on the day of your wedding, girls, right? You had to prepare for it. Like, you woke up early. Mm, just wanna greet the sun. <laughs> Got up at like six, like when your dad gets up. Ha! <laughs> uh, right, what, you meditated? I just wanna be centered, right? You worked out like it matters, day of. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. You're not gonna lose any weight at the buzzer. It's not gonna. <laughs> It's never gonna happen. <laughs> what did you do? You, you did your little workout, and then you got your makeup done, and your nails, and a massage, and a colonic, and a hyperbaric chamber, and a hyper, hyperbolic chamber. <laughs> Amazing. And you got a situation room, and a silence cone, and a shame corner, and a Reiki healing, and you went ghost hunting. You did all this stuff. What did your husband do on your wedding day? I'll tell you, he woke up like whenever. <laughs> Went out to eat with his buddy, something tasty, doesn't matter if I'm fat, because I'm a funny guy. Went. <laughs> Who cares if it's bloated? Right? Then he went and got a haircut on the day of the wedding. <laughs> what faith do you have in this barber? <laughs> Went out, had a drink, went home, jerked off, took a dump. Who says you can't lose weight, right, fellas? Who says you can't lose weight day off? Yeah. Yeah. Probably about 500 grams. 
He took a nap. He woke up to an alarm labeled wedding for you, question mark. He barely made it. The bride, it just doesn't seem like the bride is having as much fun as everyone else because she is the one that planned it and she wants everything to be perfect. They don't tell you that when you have a wedding, you have to plan every moment because people, when they get in a group, it's mob mentality and they don't think like they normally would, okay? So you would think logically, like, we said I do in this room and that room's got food on tables. <laughs> Should go from A to B, shortest distance, no problem. People are walking into walls like Sims. Like... <laughs> you have to shepherd them, you have to coordinate it. Everything you do has to have coordination. People have to be led and you have to plan for these moments that seem organic. I will give you an example. So if you're the couple that wants that moment where after you say I do and you run out of the religious part and, and you get announced into the room, right? If you're the couple that wants to have the DJ to everyone at the party, be like, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Raccoon, here we go. <laughs> All your babies, yeah. If you <laughs> want that moment, you have to plan for it. Meaning, if you want that reveal, you, after you say I do, have to haul ass out of that room, go to a fucking broom closet in a Ramada Inn, sign away, your goats, his chicken, stamp it, kiss me, okay. <laughs> then you go and you take your couple's pictures. And while you're doing that, they're setting up the party room and you have to provide a cocktail hour for your guests. So there's three parties, the party they're going to, this party, and then the one they had before. Okay, they're gonna get a liquor up to listen to YMCA. So they're there. And you have to provide that party, a party that you're paying for that you're not invited to. <laughs> <laughs> My wedding planner was like, so did you wanna do like an oyster bar for your guests? I was like, do I get to eat the delicious oysters? She's like, no, you're gonna be in the closet taking pictures. <laughs> you don't get to partake. I'm like, then they can eat corn dogs and wait in their cars. <laughs> okay. It just felt like the bride is the last one to have fun, even if you have a fun ceremony. Some couples like that. Some couples like a quiet spiritual ceremony with crying and saying, I'm sorry. Some people like <laughs> a fun service. Like some people like to dance. Like white people love to come down the aisle to that Bruno Mars song. Like, hey baby, I'm gonna marry you. Marry you, the bridesmaids and the groomsmen. One who was like a cheer captain in middle school was like, we go up, you go down, hit it. Go Cougars, marry you, and then you do it, and it's a whole thing, right? So everyone has fun with it. So the first ones that come down, girls, it does not matter who you marry, every man has the same group of friends. Every man has the same groom pod, okay? First one to come walking down that aisle, every man's got that one friend that's too big, okay? He's like 6'9", his name is Donk, he's just like... Walking on two snapped Achilles and all head injuries. Everyone's, oh, Dong's doing the choreography. Barely. It's so go, Dong. I'm Dong. Put that baby down. Dong is hungry. Then the funny friend. Every man you date will have that one friend that's funny. He never shuts up. His name is Daniel. And he comes down the aisle. And he doesn't see a congregation, he sees an audience. So he's going up to your nano like, oh yeah, no, 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 yeah. right? And they're loving it, you're loving it. He's like, yeah, and the more they laugh, he's like, uh-oh, and he goes off book. He's like, yeah, I do my, I do the sprinkler and whatever the hell this is. And they're loving it, and people are laughing at your wedding. The bride's not even there yet, everyone's having a good time. She's in the back breathing in a fucking paper bag. <laughs> I don't think Daniel's so funny. And then they turn to me, isn't Daniel funny, Eliza? Oh, you're doing it, bravo, move your dick more. This is great. Daniel's so funny. Eliza, isn't Daniel funny? He should have been a comic, yeah. And he could have been. <gasps> but something happened his senior year at Duke and the girl never woke up. It turns out it was a wrong place, wrong time kind of thing, but he did have to defer for a year while his parents put together a legal defense fund. He didn't do anything wrong, but it didn't look very good to apply to other schools. So he deferred for a year, Dixon Community College credits. He got that CPA degree. It's not the degree that he wanted, but he won't graduate on time, but he did graduate. <laughs>
The bridesmaids come down like, this is a strapless bra, this isn't fun. I slept with Daniel, marry you, marry you. Now the groom comes down and he's in sunglasses. Oh, I'm in sunglasses, isn't this funny? I'm indoors, what a juxtaposition. Oh, I'm in sunglasses. Oh, I'm in sunglasses, which is an homage to Risky Business, which is a movie about what, Nashville? Hookers, marry you. Everyone get serious, she's here. 